grab these links for these tweets. Popping out the chat. start the game up don't have anybody watching just yet but we can start playing yet. oh hello original dr. mono maybe we do have someone watching so I was telling serial before we started it'll be slightly shorter we'll still play for like a good 45 50 minutes here but I need to duck out a little early so I can go get lunch with my kid at her school Is the the semester's basically just started, right? Uh, yeah. I mean, they started the meeting in September, so they're, like they're coming up on a month of school. I say semester, but it's like it, grade school is still basically one school year, right? It's yeah, like, they, yeah, they don't. Yeah, they don't like switch classes midway through or anything. Yeah. Hi, gals. Got Moxie. I mean, Leafy on Adam Walker, Texas Ranger, Toto Bomb, Imran. Making fun of your shy guy back there. Uh, Imran says, Surreal, does the lone shy guy get placed there after making the bed, or do you just break eye contact with the bed and he's there? I think that's the latter is how it works. I, I never bought that thing. I can only see it in the stream view. <laughs> when I turn around, he's not there. It's oh, very weird. weird. That's not creepy. Definitely yeah. Happens. Well, this building is in rough shape. There might be a way around it. Are we waiting for a door to open? Is that what we're doing? Uh, we gotta locate the facility to... Um... Oh, here, there's a foot on this door. Oh, this is just a bath. It means you can foot it. Oh, I can foot it. Is there a shortcut key or button I'm playing on Xbox for, um, flashlight, or is that just... No. I don't think there is a flashlight, but yeah, I think it's a situational thing. Okay. BB Gun Renegade saying, oh my god, I was finally able to catch one of these streams. It's earlier, too. This is perfect. It is perfect. Hi. Here. Don't worry. It'll be fine. You can never have too much cereal. There's a lot of weapons on the floor here. Always a good sign. Marcus, found your hallway. Uh, maybe all the conflict that's gonna happen here has already happened. All the guns are on the floor. Right. That was me actually. I forgot about that. So what now? Okay. Look for another way in. The lab's filled with stasis Hi John Paul Decker. Wait. What is that? Oh, that's that thing I was controlling earlier. He's got his glow sticks. <laughs> Oh, he's just a melee dude, right? So like. Drag out! One thing that they changed in five that I don't think you could do before is you can reload while you have a full magazine. Oh really? So... <laughs> just At least to get I don't the remember. Bonus. I thought I think you could just do Feels like the bullets are bouncing off. Of yeah. He's been chasing me relentlessly. I'm hoping Jack gets me up. Well, I'll try to get him. Maybe I can get him distracted here. Oh no, he's gonna kill me. He got me up. <laughs> I didn't want to get close because I didn't think. Uh... Oh, if we. Oh, I don't get to keep going? Oh, okay. Uh, Imran says the full magazine reload is indeed new to five. Okay, I, yeah, I thought you could do that. I remember I, because I feel like I remember doing that in one where like I was behind cover and 
making you know it's like oh i gotta get my bonus bullets here so yeah i mean you, you could always bonus. like the, the active reload always gave you bonus damage i just think that you you couldn't do it if you've already reload like if you had a full magazine basically. gotcha okay You heard Marcus. We find another way in. Does it pause your game when I pause? Yes. Okay. Wait. What? Oh, no. We uh, we might have a problem. Yeah, we definitely have a problem. Warden. So how do we do damage the first time? Flash. We got you have to get rid of his helmet. Then we flashed him. Frag out! Frag out! Basically, I think it only land back up on him. So, okay, I see. Oh, yeah, I see. So, okay. Hey, uh, Surreal, he's coming your way. Yep, I'm running. Oh. I have nowhere close to that game. I'm down, by the way. Yeah, I, I see ya. Oh, there we go. I don't... Okay. I guess I just need to risk it. Yeah, he's, he's good. I think he'll probably be line for me. <laughs> I, just, yeah, I killed him just as... Uh, just oh, as great. A, yeah, but no matter. One for one. That's an even trade. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you, Natesley asks, if you could repeat a grade as a full-grown adult, which one would you pick? That question is odd to me. Like, there is... The answer is none. No, <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> like I don't know if it's a grade I'm particularly fond of. because, and, and if I was, I think it's because of the specific memories I made during that grade. Like, yeah. oh, I had this very poignant experience or something very crucial happened to me, but I wouldn't want to repeat it. Just to have, just did not have that experience happen. Yeah. No. I mean, I guess like I enjoyed my senior year of high school, but only because I only had to take two classes and like, and um, I knew I was get, I was like on the way out. You know what I mean? I was like, I knew I was like, well, I'll be heading to college in just a matter of weeks here. You know. Oh, now he's coming after me. All right, so the, the trick here is like, it's worth trying to yep. save each other, even if it's dangerous. Because that was the mistake I was making last time. It's like I just was, I was like, well, I don't want to go die, but you know, I didn't. I thought I figured if you died, I could still keep going. You know? Yeah, oh, nice. Managed to dodge it that time. Yeah, look cool from my perspective. Very calculated and cool. Oh, why he's so insistent on going after you specifically? What the damn warden doing here? I think he's racist. <laughs> Nailed it. That's what happened. That's what's going on here. This is like that video Jacob Geller was talking about, how about the house that's growing mold and getting corrupted. <laughs> for me, yeah, go check out his YouTube channel, by the yeah. way. Former Game 4 intern, now doing his own thing on YouTube, playing a lot of Beat Saber. Yeah, he's real. He's real good at Beat Saber. Like he's yeah, he is no joke. Uh, yeah, so what are we doing here? We just got the thing. I will say though, I, I would kind of like uh, want a redo of college in some aspects. Like anytime I'm not in class in college, because I was super like on the idea that uh, all these people who are screwing around going to parties, like they're they're like not taking college seriously. 
And then I, like after college, like year, basically the year after I left college, I realized, oh, I shouldn't have been taking it that seriously either. <laughs> I should have tried to make more friends and have more fun in college than I did. Yeah, I, I, I went to college like weirdly with a lot of my high school friends. Like we all went to the same college. Yeah. And so I just kind of ended up hanging out with them. And I still love those guys and I'm still friends with all those guys. But like, I don't, it's funny, like the idea of me going to a college class reunion or something, like, I don't think I would really know. Same as your high school one? Yeah, yeah. That was, that's kind of my thing. I, I went to uh, college with a, with a bunch of my high school people as well. And I, I, I ended up not making that many new friends in college. Which yeah, is, no, yeah. same. Which yeah. feels like anytime I see like a work of fiction, that's like, oh yeah, college is where things really get interesting or whatever. But it's like, yeah, I, I don't have that many people from college that I still uh, keep up with. Yeah, no, yeah, same. No, uh, were we supposed to climb that building on the opposite side? No, I, was, I pulled up the icon. Getting a little bit of echo. I don't know if you, if that's coming from you or what, Cyril. But um, uh, I'm, I, I, I'm not seeing like a way to go. Oh, right here. Yeah. Where'd you find it? All right. Okay. Yeah. Squeak through, buddy. You too. Okay, those are definitely not stasis tanks. But what the hell are they? I think we need the sim to get through that. Oh, well. You said it the last time, right? Oh, here's another stealth section. Sync up on these guys. Pull out the boat. But we don't have to, but. Let's keep doing that. The guy over there. This room. Yeah, we can get out of just like systematic here. Just... Yeah. Oh! Right. Damn it! Spot it! Open fire! So much for I guess there wasn't any way to. Yeah, I wonder if, if, if that might have been a thing where we both had to do it at the same time, like find, find a way around. Oh, yeah. There's this other path. Mm. Watch it. I got him. Oh, hello. Shotgun definitely works better on these guys than uh... Is he coming around? Oh, is that a shotgun ammo though? So I have the stim now. Do you need any of this ammo? Uh, prob probably. I'm like stuck in a... Oh. I'm stuck waiting by the door. Here we go. I'm assuming I can't turn around. I am like, I've only got like three shotgun oh. shots left. Help me, Jack, or Surreal, either one. I don't know what a damn thing went. Look out! It's back! Oh! Oh, oh God. Oh. I feel like 
these things, I don't get a sense that, like, the... That they're, like, falling... Oh, gosh, you need help. Are you still up? Or are you still... Yeah. Okay, you got it. It feels weird because every time they, they pass through me, they leap behind one of those leeches and completing that trick time event, basically... Oh, that's right. Yeah, you're right. all my health. It's just very cool. Alright, I'm low on... Oh, you got it. You know, I'd really like to find this lab now. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. There's a overkill there. There's no air in there. Uh, there's a Nasher here if you want that. Oh, I got I have one actually. I need some ammo. Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna say that's everything. Mm. A little bit more here. I found a door with a foot on it. Nope. Tell, help me push this open. Can't even tell what's going on. That. It's very dark in here. Jack, Follow my glowing lights. Light. <laughs> hey, kid, how's it going? Perfect timing, Marcus. Well, no lab or stasis tanks, but we're in some kind of prison cell. Prison? You're seeing stuff I never did. From what I heard, Niall Sampson was a scientist who ran that place, using the children of emulsion poisoned miners for experiments. <laughs> Imprisoned and experimented on children. Uh, sir, I don't know if you're looking at the YouTube chat, but Matt Parsa is being very complimentary of your amazing weight loss journey and says that you look great. Oh, thank you so much. Appreciate it. It's been a long ride. <laughs> thank you. Appreciate it. The cog know what this Nas guy was doing. They shut it down. Weight loss is a very weird thing. I'm I'm sort of conflicted about because part of, like should I just be comfortable with my with myself as I am or try to work at it? But I don't know. There's a, there are also you know health reasons and whatever to keep to keep in mind. So but yeah, it's it feels very weird. Who was this <laughs> Anytime I look back at like some of the like the first episodes of the gym, it's like oh. I guess it is. I guess I do look different. Cause, yeah. you know, I, I can't keep track of it at all. So because it's I, I mean, for you, I'm sure it hasn't really. It's not like it happened overnight or anything, you know. So yeah. It's like, but, so it's just but, like, oh, I guess I did. Like I remember um, over the course of my tenure at Game Informer, uh, Andy would come by every once in a while and kind of like talk to me. He's like, yeah, yeah, you look, you're looking really good. It's like, and he'd ask me about exercise, and I was like, it's like, I guess he's. I guess I've changed enough for for Andy to notice. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Andy also, okay, I mean, Marcus, people don't know about this in the office, but I mean, Andy's like, he's usually head down doing his own thing. Like, we'd, yeah, go, we'd go weeks without seeing Andy, you know? He, 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 he's out there wheeling and dealing a lot. Yeah. So he, he's not, he, I think of the people in the office, he's like usually the one who's most out of the office for like, hey, I'm in this random part of the world talking to this person or, you know, just kind of basically in his office a lot of the time. So I, I don't, I don't envy his position at all, but... Uh, he's definitely one of the hardest workers. But yeah, so anytime he'd, he'd come out and, and, and come by our desks, he'd, talk. he'd, he'd do like a tour. And yeah. like, yeah. hey, how's everyone doing? It really didn't miss Miles, asshole. There's some ammo here if you need more. You could always use more. So, you got any idea what you're gonna ask this guy? You know, about your, uh, connection thing? Spirit Willis says, hi people, happy to see Kyle and Sierra getting into gear this morning. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, fair enough. And then? The hammer burst. Yeah, I like that. I got, I got a Lancer and an Asher, which I'm pretty yeah. sure. Yeah. I've never been, like, a huge hammer burst guy, just because it seems like... 
it, it always felt like the Lancer was the official controller, and then the Lance, the the Hammer Burst was like the Mad Cat's offshoot that you like you got for your cousin or whatever. Where it's like I don't want to put, I don't want to use the Hammer Burst. I'm kind of a weirdo in that like I don't really get a lot out of like having like tons of different weapons, you know? Because I usually just like to find like a handful that I like, you know, and kind of stick with them, you know? Yeah. Which, I don't know, maybe that's not that uncommon, but that's actually one of the things I like about Control, is that, like, you've only got a few weapons that are all based, you know what I mean? You don't pick them up. Yeah. You're never without that one that you like a lot, you know? Yeah. Marcus, that didn't work. What? BB Gun Renegade is asking you, Serial, about the new Guilty Gear that's been announced. Is there one? Uh, the, the, there's a Guilty Gear. There's basically a new Guilty Gear coming out next year. Oh, okay. Uh, but that was weird, announced a few weeks ago, right? Wasn't it? That was announced a while ago. Yeah, that was announced at EVO. Uh, and then I think they released the trailer at TGS as well. Uh, and that game looks fantastic. I, I haven't delved into a lot of the systems. Yeah, um, yeah, it's weird because they have that and then Grand Blue Fantasy are both coming out in the same year, which is weird. But yeah, that game looks fantastic. I like a lot of what they're doing with the mix of like their keyframe stuff where it looks like a cartoon with individual frames, but they are, they're doing some like interpolation where it'll move smoothly like a 3D based model would. Yeah. And that stuff looks fantastic. Uh, like it does look like a step up for them in terms of their art style. Um, it's weird because like, I, I, I admire Guilty Gear a lot, but and even when I play it, I'm like, oh, this is really good. I could I could see myself getting into it, um, but I've never really had like that much of an attraction to like. I like so it's weird because I like the look of it. You know, like the art style obviously looks immaculate, but the individual like the effect to which they're using that style. Like, I'm not a big fan of the look of some of those characters. Like, there's some that I do like. Like, I like Eno a lot, and I like uh, Potemkin. But for the most part, it just feels like, I don't know, they, they look like this side of Kingdom Hearts characters a lot of times. <laughs> a lot of belts. But, right. yeah. And I've heard that uh, Daisuke Ishii something, uh, the director basically said that he wants to make the game, the, the systems a little simpler to understand. Mm. I think a lot of people, like in the, in the Guilty Gear community, are more hardcore, so they're kind of uh, wary about that. Which is, uh, you know, fine. Like I, I totally get that feeling. But it, it, from his letter that he basically wrote, it seems like he's more about let's just streamline and remove some of the aspects that kind of made the game intimidating versus adding an auto combo, which is kind of just drives that uh, difference home. Of, oh, you can either use the auto combos or you can actually learn the game. And there's like that creates a gap where people might want to might want to just auto combo, but they don't want to actually want to bother to learn the actual yeah. game. But I wonder if he's not just trying to bridge that gap by saying, no, like, the system is the system, and it's simple enough for you to learn on your own. You just have to, you know, dedicate the time, and we're not going to give you, like, the, the training wheels to act as a media. So we are going to make the process as a whole easier, which I think would work, especially now that, you know, our systems, I feel like, even since, like, Dragon Ball basically has become more of a household name outside of fighting games. Uh, I yeah, think it could so, yeah. pay off. Um, oh, that was weird because I was sliding and then I got into where I collided with your model and kind of was stuck there for a little bit. <laughs> so I couldn't get into cover. Because you slid into cover automatically, right? Uh, you know, I don't, honestly, I, I, because I moved over, I think. So, uh, so we just kind of both got stuck the same, so. You can also have Jack still get ammo for you, which is cool. I'm trying to get that sniper over there. Jack Black! I sound like said Jack Black. Celebrity sighting. Yeah! <laughs> one of the robots. <laughs> Just That's randomly. Like, yeah. Jack Black has a cannon as one of the robots in Gears of War I mean, they already did their Hamilton reference, you know? That's right. Anything's up for grabs now. It's like when Kamel Nanjiani, Kamel Nanjiani was in a, uh, 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 Shadows of Mordor, or Shadow of War. Oh, what? As one of the, like, orcs, but, like, he didn't really make an effort to change his voice or, like, modulate his voice, or they, they didn't, like, add any filters or anything to it, so it's just, yeah. like, it's like, oh, that's, that's Kamel, because he has a pretty distinct voice. <laughs> so, yeah. Like, 
They didn't. No. They were just like, uh, I guess. Build me an arc, I guess. Uber? He didn't direct Uber, right? I no, no. I think he was just an okay. I don't think he had anything okay. to do with it in terms of creatively <laughs> writing. What was otherwise. that? What was that first movie he made? I've seen enough of this place. The Big Sick? Yeah, that movie's great. Yeah, he wrote that. Co-wrote that with his wife. That movie's... Yeah, I really like that movie a lot. So uh, when I saw Uber, I was like, oh, is this his next thing that he's doing? And then, no, actually, well, he's doing it, right? It's his but... next thing that he's in. Did Derek get anything out of that data? Like, I will, I will say, like, um... Uh, for... Just to bring it back to Guilty Gear for a second. There are stuff... There is stuff in Guilty Gear they could get rid of. I know a lot of people are like not into danger time, which is this weird conditional state where randomly when I when two attacks clash, you, like the damage output just becomes really high. So it feels like this very random mechanic where at some point it'll just give someone huge advantage. I, the buttons, the, the button layout, I've never really gelled with too much because it's, what is it? It's like light, uh, light attack, light sword attack, heavy sword attack. There's one other one, and then the dust button, which is kind of like this this very rare attack that you don't see very often. So I wonder if they wouldn't be able to streamline that into like a four button scheme. Um, but in general, I, yeah, I do. I'm excited for that new Guilty Gear. All they need to do is put Eno in it, and I'll be. And you're on board. Yeah. And it's funny too, because like, yeah, so much of my appreciation of fighting games is just like, who is, is there a character that I like in it, you know? Yeah. yeah. Just one that looks cool. I remember. Yeah. Playing, I guess it was the second Guilty Gear, right? Because Guilty Gear One was PS One, and then yeah, Guilty Gear and then the second one, it was like Guilty Gear Two was totally different. Yeah, it was totally, it was a, I think it was a totally different game from Guilty Gear, and then they went back to finding games with Guilty Gear X. Okay, Guilty Gear X was the one on PS Two that I, I played. I, I hesitate to say a decent amount, but I like took it home and played it like for two nights and I remember sort of being fascinated that there, there were very difficult to pull off instant kill moves mm -hmm. and I remember like going through a bunch of the characters and training and just doing that and like instant killing characters I was like that's kind of cool you know Yeah. but that was as far as I ever got with, with Guilty Gear sure. so, so it's like you, you think that those would, would give you like oh yeah I can pull off these kill moves and you hardly ever really see them in real matches. I mean, you do see them sometimes, but... Yeah, that was that was cool at the time to see stuff like, oh, you can just kill your opponent in the middle of a match. My my first exposure to Guilty Gear was honestly that co-op side-scrolling beat-em-up, Guilty Gear Osaka. And that's, so that's what I thought that series was. It's like, oh, Guilty Gear, it's like the uh, it's like Final Fight or Streets of Rage. Oh, they're coming out of the fighting oh, game. Neat. Yeah. Oh, boy, we're in sniper. It's almost, it's almost like the, I think the first... What, Dynasty Warriors was a fighting game? Yeah. And then decided, no, we, we can just, you know, we'll do something else. Like, it's funny. Because, uh, I mean, in many ways, Dynasty Warriors, the series, is like a spin-off, you know? Yeah. But it's, like, now become more, it's kind of like Persona in the Shin Megami franchise, you know? It's like, there's a clear frontrunner for what started as, like, a spin-off. What is up with that? weapon that's like the drop shot yeah, yeah it's, it's, like, it's this weird guided grenade thing it just doesn't seem to be doing any damage to me is that, or maybe i'm just getting away from it in time i don't know uh i had higher difficulty like when i was playing with my my brother uh it would instantly kill you oh, okay. it actually collided with you and it made a couple of those sections really frustrating it's one of those things where that i'm seeing i'm like that looks dangerous and i should be dodging it but yeah I'm, uh, I got that. I feel like I should find a... Do you need help? Oh. Yeah, so you I need help. Down. Yeah, that's, what's one weird thing is that the game does not hit super well when your opponent, when your ally is down. Yeah, like, I know, it usually it pops right up on screen in, like, a big way, you know? Is there a better position to be? Yeah, I'm trying to take out that guy with the drop shot. He's not like... Oh, help me. Ah. There is a long shot down there. Maybe I should go grab it. I know both you. Did you grab it or? No, I don't have it. I don't grab it. Oh, that guy's got a ton of health. I don't. Ah, oh, crap. I'm good. Sweet. Let's try to get up there. I know you and I don't. Neither uh -oh. of us particularly like using a long shot, but. 
Can I shoot through like wooden panels? I do. Oh boy. You got one of them. Help me. Okay. So that panel's down. Just having trouble seeing him. I got one. There's just one sniper left. Where is he? He's where that uh, guy with the drop shot was. In the upper you level or the lower level? Oh, did you okay. just get him? Yeah. Okay. Okay, we got them all. Now let's deal with this gate situation. Gate situation. So, what do you think we're gonna find? Imran is saying, hey, I kind of hate when games make the screen hard to see. That got me killed in control a lot. I feel like that, I feel that way too. It, it was also like extra frustrating in control because you can't recover health, you know, you don't recover health automatically for the most part. Mm. Uh, so you, so if you're in a position against a boss where you're super low on health, you basically have to switch your style completely. Where instead of, you know, being going around the entire battlefield killing stuff and picking up health pickups, you're basically locked into one corner and trying to peek out and like hit enemies with hot shots. Mm. It was very against the kind of power fantasy that game wants to build. And then the, yeah, the last couple of encounters feel like they're they're just. Here's, we're gonna throw everything at you at the same time. Here's all of our enemies in one fight. Uh, yeah, I really, I, ha I had a great time with Control. I finished it last night. I, Jack, but I definitely hit that game. point. Uh, I don't think it's a spoiler to say like the head drawn fight, where I was yeah. like, oh okay, this is the part that people have been complaining about. I get it, <laughs> you know. <laughs> like, which one? Which one's the head? Head drawn. Uh, it's like right before, it's like the thing that you do right before you get there we go. credits. I don't want to say too much. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I like, yeah. I like that game a lot. I, even though, like, it does have its frustrating moments, I still think Control is my personal game of the year so far. Yeah. With, like, Resident Evil 2 and Second, maybe. Sekiro floating around up there. Yeah, you're definitely not alone in that. Uh, I don't know where it sits with me. I like it. I like it. It's just, a bit, yeah, there are some frustrating things like the map. I, I just don't like it all. But, it's just, man, that game was just like, it's just my style. You know, like yeah. in terms of things that I like in video games, control just nailed a lot of that stuff. And it's just like definitely personal to me. Like I just... I love the way the environment look. I love exploring weird scientific facilities with, you know, uh, questionable morals like Half-Life and Portal and stuff like that. I like, like I was talking about the gun earlier. I like that you just have one transforming gun. Yeah. I like that you don't have to worry about ammo. I like that you can fly, you know, <laughs> like, yeah, just like a whole bunch of things that I like. And I just like, I've always appreciated Remedy's weird tone of you know monologues and like I just, it's, I'm, I'm just into it it just worked for me it's, i like the campiness of it i almost wish it were uh weirder as a game you know to match how oh sure yeah this is where because Go it feels it. like they talk about the house changing all the time but that map seems pretty static you know like it's yeah it's just like, is maintenance, maintenance is maintenance and when you go back there not, like not a whole lot shifts like I, I would like it if there was a part where you had to go back to maintenance and the structure of it was completely different, you know, or so, something like that. That wasn't just like, hey, we've made we've made a pretty like above average but very you know structurally sound third person shooter, and the premise just happens to be very interesting and weird. Uh, but that that doesn't bleed into the like what you're actually doing in the game much. Yeah. Uh, so in that terms, it's a, it's a little bit disappointing for me personally, but. Yeah, like I once you once you get all those powers, it feels super. It feels really like the combat flows really well. I think. Also, I do wish Jesse had been a little bit more or a little less on board with everything that was happening. If that makes sense. Yeah, like I, I like. Feel like this... Go ahead. Like I was, just, I like, I like how it, like weird. Um, 
Oh, I want to keep that. I like uh, like the janitor guy and like how weird he is and how everyone's like, yeah, that's just how things work around here, you know. Yeah. You know, sometimes objects will try to kill us. It's fine. I like I like their attitude toward it. I just wish Jesse's attitude had been a little bit more like, where where am I? <laughs> you know, yeah. like she seemed pretty okay with everything that was happening without taking much convincing. Yeah. You know? it, it does feel like without spoiling anything, it does feel like there's a missing act to her I, backstory yeah, where there's like oh they talk a, a little bit about why she's there and you know uh in, a little bit but yeah they, it feels like there's this weird gap between like i used to i used to be a kid and this, this there was this uh, thing that happened and then now i'm like a total badass and i'm totally on board you know yeah. all of this stuff it feels like there's a there's a maybe maybe it's in the documents and stuff that i maybe have missed at some point but it does feel like there's some missing characterization there that I think would have would have helped. Yeah, I agree. Be careful, control out. But uh, I think I I don't know if I've said it in a stream when I was playing, but just moving through the the, F, the Federal Bureau of Control building, the old house, like feels like a it feels like the last uh, hour of inside. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. Like it seems like those buildings could be the same and like. Mm -hmm. That's that's all I need. Especially with like the floating people. Yeah, like it's just like this place is creepy and cool, and I want to hang out here. Yeah. By the way, there's some weird thing coming happening with the weather. It's bad weather. You can't abandon these mountains, right? Well, now we know why. Just watch out for the ice. Hey, Grizzled Gaming, Sonomer. Creative calisthenics. Hello. Hey, cave ahead. Let's get inside. No, swarm. Then we clear. Where are they coming out. from? The ground or the sky? Yeah, it's from the from the sky. Uh, I said this at the beginning, but I'll say it again now. Um, we're, we'll probably this stream will be a slightly shorter. We're gonna we're we'll probably cut it off at like uh, eleven fifty Central Time or so. Maybe a little before that. A lot of gear. So the long shots. See any? Okay. There's a guy with a top bomb. Yeah, I just saw him. I have the long shots to get him, but he's. Like it, it, there's a, he fired off his boot shot, and that shot. Oh no! Me. Dang it! Oh no! I uh. Jack. Jack, I went to get stuff, Jack. I went to go save you, but I like locked get into the. Here. Okay, here we go. That was weird. I basically like you know went to come get you, but then ended up like sticking to a corner before I could hit X. Is that big, strong, muscly man over there? Yeah, is he threatening you? That big, strong, muscly man <laughs> over there threatening you? I guess he's not a man. Yeah, he's, he's setting out a lot of grenades man. at us. I wish he would have less. Oh, gosh. It's kind of hard to tell when they're coming at me. I guess we can split up. That'll help. Flank him. There we go. This Boltok's actually pretty good. What'd you say? The Boltok? Oh, the pistol? Yeah. What the hell is the swarm doing up here in the mountains? Hey, Creative Calisthenics subscribed. Thank you so much. Maybe they're drawn here or something. Alright, let's look around. Find a way out of here. I mean, boom shot's basically a grenade launcher, right? Yeah. Del, up we go. Come on, we got 
gotta be close now. Hey, what if this tower's a bust? I came here for answers. I'm not going home until I get it. <laughs> keep moving! Our thermals won't keep us warm forever! Dell, we got a carrier! You see this storm? It's not a carrier I'm worried about! <laughs> Oh shoot, I'm out of ammo. Wait! I take that back! I'm loving this storm! <laughs> this is a big thing for Gears 4, right? The way it like... Uh, the storm would interfere with your sort of... Yeah. So I wanted to shoot the big, the big guy, but he... Oh, he's coming. I'm down. Pretty far away. Oh, no. Actually, pretty close. I was heading your way, but I just saw it happen. Oh crap, there's one right next to us. Maybe that was the best use of... Here you go. <laughs> ...of boom shot. Oh, did you die yourself? I think so, but I took out a guy on the way, so... Oh, I'm gonna press the mean button. Time to be mean. Six seven eight. It's asking for game of the year 2020. All right. Let's oh gosh. Um, I'm say now. I you know Cyberpunk. That game looks amazing. I I don't think it's my genre. I don't. I could never really get into The Witcher. You know. I don't know if that's gonna be different. But like I just it might be one that's not for me. Yeah. Um. I can see that. But you know, we'll see. I'm gonna definitely play it. And someone who's like. Witcher 3 is like one of my favorite games of all time, but there's just like something about showing off Cyberpunk specifically that so far hasn't really done much for me because they're really emphasizing choice and a lot of the world stuff. And just as a setting, Cyberpunk is not as interesting to me. And also like the idea of like, oh, you can do a quest. Oh, crap. Uh oh. Let's <laughs> try uh, it. The idea of like, oh, you can do the quest all these different ways, right? Isn't something that manifests well, I think, in a demo. So I think when I when I go in and play it, I think it'll if it does end up wowing me, it'll be because of like specific moments that will be that will feel personal and not like it's part of like this big showcase for you know the tech or whatever the game is. So it's it's hard for me to be like super crazy about Cyberpunk because yeah. even like Witcher Three, I I expected it to be like I was a little anxious about it because they were like, oh, we're gonna do what The Witcher Two did, which I, a game I really like. And we're gonna make it open world, and that wasn't like a that wasn't like a huge selling point to me. Yeah. Uh, because it felt like The Witcher 2 benefited a lot from its limited scope, so the open world stuff wasn't like it was actually kind of like something that made me a little worried. But you know, the stuff that I like about The Witcher isn't that you can go anywhere; is that you go there will be an interesting story to find. Yeah. So I'm I, I'm I hope Cyberpunk can do that, it's just not something that I'm going to be, that will bear out until I actually get my hand on it. Yeah. I just said, that's the thing is like, people, that's a nice marketing bullet point of like, you can play this mission many different ways, you know, like, but, yeah. and maybe it's just my play style, like, I don't get to care, because like, I'm only going to yeah. play it once, it probably. I'm yeah, there's not one a way, lot of you know. Like I remember Bioshock, their big marketing push before we kind of knew what Bioshock was, you know. Like, mm -hmm. like I remember watching all these behind-the-scenes documentaries about Bioshock, and their big thing that they were pushing was like, you can, you can, t you know, take weapons with you and tackle this, you know, set of enemies one way, but then you can like reset and do it a whole different way, and it's like completely different. 
And it's like, yeah. well, but no one's going to do that. They're just going to, they're just trying to get through the story and see what's yeah, next. You know, they're not going to sit there and replay the same, you know, set of enemies over and over again. Yeah, there's going to be like a very hardcore set of people who play the game however many times as they can. Yeah. You know, to get all the praise. Uh, but anyone was saying it, uh, my favorite moments, moments of The Witcher 3 are chill ones where you're wandering into a town and getting character stories. Yeah. And, yeah, from Cyberpunk. And I, I agree with that. Like, I think well, the thing that I liked about The Witcher was, like, not the fact that it was a fantasy based game. It was that it introduced a lot of, like, wrenches into the fantasy mythology, both in the way that, like, oh, yeah, it's based on Polish mythology and not, you know, Western, uh, like, the common Western mythology. Uh, and also the way it's, like, oh, yeah, like, everything kind of fucking sucks in the in this, uh, fantasy world because. Like all the, the, the royals are basically at the top and you go outside any of the major cities and it's just like the drabbest, most like desolate towns of people who are just, they're poor. And they're like, yeah, we're, we need people like, like the, the royalty has seen fit to like get rid of witchers, but the, the average folk need witchers because no one else will kill monsters for them. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's cool. So like cyberpunk feels right now because, you know, of a, they have to market that game. It feels like they're selling it on like, hey, this is going to be the cool cyberpunk game that you wanted. And I don't know that that's what I want. What I want is a game that subverts, you know, some of the established ideas we have about cyberpunk. And it sure. doesn't feel like and that's not something you can market out of the gate. Yeah. Um, so people were talking about Breath of the Wild 2. I don't think that's uh, next year. I, man, I, I kind of think it might be because just because like, I can see being late next year. Let's get uh, to just comments. because, I don't know, I guess my only thing, my, my only precedent is Ocarina enough Time to Majora's Mask. I think that people, I, I think that game will be most, more like Breath of the Wild than people will expect. And I think it would just be them using that engine for another game. So that that's what makes me think like, oh, they can, they might be able to turn it around a lot more quickly. Mm. But I, yeah, I, I could totally, right. I totally feel the idea that it's probably not going to be ready until next year, just because that has been the cadence with Zelda. Yeah, I mean, but you're right. This this could be a they they probably the starting line of Breath of the Wild two was probably like we're gonna use a lot of the same assets. We're gonna continue being in this world. We're gonna set it up in such a way where where it can be um, quicker. You know what I mean? Like we can knock this thing out. Yeah. Just really take advantage of the excitement around Breath of the Wild. Which it's also there's still yeah. a lot of uh, there is still a lot of definitely. Yeah, and it, it definitely reminds me of Mario Galaxy. They. So, well, the reason we came up with with a direct sequel like this was because we had so many ideas that we wanted to do in this engine that instead of making it DLC, we just decided why not just make it its own game. Yeah. You know, and the the gap between Mario Galaxy One and Two was about three years. Uh, so it, it does make me it. I wouldn't be surprised if it came out this uh, next year. What button am I supposed to be hitting here when I'm looking at this map? Uh. Cause it's not X. All the, all the white points, and then maybe A. But I think you're trying to find these little, like little white crystals on the map. So scroll down. Let's see. So I found yeah, like over there. my controller's vibrating a lot here. Here? Okay. And press A. Yeah, I'm pressing A. Why? Um, is it slowly drifting oh, there? I guess I just had to hold it over. Use. Oh, okay. Okay. Come on, Jack. Book it to the console, let's get this done. Not a match. I would like to, Imran mentioned a new gravity rush, and I would like to see. That'd be cool. A new gravity rush? Yeah. Although I'm not sure what Japan Studio is making that, because they just made uh, Astrobot. Um, but. I wonder if they would do Astrobot 2 before Got they would do match. another gravity rush. Yeah. It does feel like. So uh, they could use map? another VR title. Right, yeah. We're gonna need that other tower to complete the trace. So what do you think? I did hear an alarm go off. Okay, yep, yeah, we're about scared. just Let's two just more minutes here. here. Okay. Maybe try to get to the next checkpoint. Yeah. Maybe try to get to the skiff and see if that works as a good stopping point. Oh, milk. Sweet. I'll shoot the milk. That's some... That holds up pretty well. <laughs> Turrets. Weird amount of security for a comm tower, isn't it? I found a door with a handprint on it. You're asking me like I work here. <laughs> Imran's pointing out that... Yeah, that's like two gallons of milk. That's a big jug <laughs> of milk. 
I think it's bleach, right? <laughs> it looked like milk. I don't know. Alright. I'm sure it's good to drink, right? I mean, I drank it. That could also be why I'm seeing hallucinations and you're not. Because I drank the milk bleach. Someone decided to mix those two things. <laughs> Gotta clean the milk, man. But not the smartest. <laughs> in that area, in that area alone, boss has got a realistic view. Of this. Whee! I'm assuming the skiff is coming up here, right? I think so. I can see it if you hold the left bumper. You can see it. Okay. Yeah, that would be a good good place to call it if we can. Yeah, there it is. Oh, no, is that it? Probably why every yeah. Covered it up. Okay, there we go. Even on All right, yeah. Yeah, we'll call it here once we get to the skip, assuming it'll save once we get there. What do we tell? Um, cool. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Sorry it's like a slightly shorter one today, but uh, I got to go get lunch with the kid. So, uh, Surreal, thanks for coming and hanging out, too. Yeah, and for having me through Gears of War. Um, I will see you guys on Monday. Bye.